Hello, my name is Rohan Paul and very welcome to my computer vision and deep learning YouTube channel. Let's get started. So in uh, segmentation models, uh, one of the most important and most common metric uh, for your model performance is pixel accuracy. And basically, it's simply the number of correctly predicted pixels divided by total number of pixels. So after the image segmentation model is trained and outputs a prediction, we need to evaluate how well the model performed. And this is usually done through two ways, which are pixel accuracy and intersection over union. And uh, for implementing a very quick pixel accuracy uh, method, this is what um, I would do. So uh, 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 here I'm using PyTorch and uh, uh, this will be my method. Accuracy. It will take uh, two input arguments. One is the prediction output. Let's call that output. And other one is actually uh, the ground truth, GT. So what I will do, uh, because in this case, uh, you, uh, we are only dealing with scalar values and we do not need the gradient tree of a PyTorch tensor. So I will start with torch dot no grad. Oh, sorry. Output will be equal to torch dot org max. Uh, remember here I am uh, these output and ground truth. They are actually the logit values, and I'm. Uh, converting them to probabilities so i need to make use of an f dot soft max and uh, i have to do it over dimension of one and my correct would be just uh, where uh, the predicted pixels are equal to the ground truth pixels so uh, I have to make use of torch.eq and to that I will pass uh, the output and uh, also the uh, ground truth and take int of that and then the accuracy will be uh, actually I don't think torched if because I'm working with float so correct dot sum and divide that uh why okay i have a extra r here and i need to divide that by the total number of elements in the correct tensor so uh because it's a tensor uh it may be two dim three dimensional four dimensional tensor uh in case you have batch as well so we cannot use uh, uh, just len of that tensor because that will return me only the length of the first dimension. So what I have to use is correct dot numel and uh, can uh, wrap this entire thing with a float and that will be my return value. Also note that uh, while pixel accuracy is an extremely easy method to code, it is uh, strongly biased by the classes that take a large portion of the image. And so for imbalanced classes, these uh, pixel accuracy is not a very effective metric. Imagine a data set with two classes where one class is only 5% of the total pixels and the other class for example a background class in the images is 95 percent now you could have a model that does nothing at all except predicting background for all the pixels and you would still have 95 percent pixel accuracy in this case so obviously when your data set the original training data set is hugely imbalanced this pixel accuracy is not very significant not very meaningful metric all right, let's see what I mean by class imbalance. Let's say uh, that uh, take, a, uh, take a note of these uh, image set. On the, on the left, I have the actual images and on the right, I have the segmented image or the mask of the image. And let's say you ran the 
this image said through your segmentation model the image on the right is a ground truth or the annotation and your model is supposed to produce a result which is as close as this that is it should properly segment uh, the images and in this case what we are segmenting is uh, uh, ships in a satellite image and let's say your segmentation model predicts the entire image as black in the background like this 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 third picture that you see right now that's the result of your uh, segmentation models prediction so basically again your model is supposed to predict this mask image but actually it is predicting this completely wrong and completely blank black image as the prediction but in this case it will still be 95 percent accurate and that's because in the original image 95 percent of the image content was just background so even if your prediction is predicting the entire image as black it is still be predicting it, it will still be accurate 95 percent that is pixel accuracy will be 95 percent so is there something wrong with our calculation nope it's exactly right it's just that one class in this case that is a background was 95 percent of the original image so if the model classifies all pixel pixels as that class 95 percent of the pixel will still be classified accurately while the other five percent will not as a result although your accuracy is a hoping 95 percent your model is returning a completely useless prediction and uh, so i gave you this example just to illustrate that high pixel accuracy doesn't always imply superior segmentation ability especially when your data set original training data set is highly imbalanced this metric should not be given much weightage that pretty much wraps up this video and all my upcoming videos will all be on some great computer vision projects and algorithm with PyTorch and TensorFlow. So stay tuned and if you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe. And if you like this video, smash the like button. Thank you for watching.